dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon if you are yet to subscribe, so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones, so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. All right. During the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan, Nigeria had covertly brought in military technical advisors, suspected to be machineries from South Africa and the former Soviet Union, to take on the BH insurgents ahead of the national election in 2015. Several regional security, defense, and diplomatic sources were aware of the development at the time including a tacit confirmation by President Jonathan that two companies were providing trainers and technicians to help Nigerian forces. One of the facilitators of the Soldiers of Fortune bemoaned the humiliations, persecutions, and prosecutions of foreign machineries along with the Nigerian, their Nigerian counterparts who participated in the operation after the emergence of the current administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. He said, In fact, some of our covert operations and activities of operatives in Nigeria, including incurred casualties, were exposed as working for machineries. Imagine that even highly classified and coded transactions for operational purposes were exposed as corruption. While noting that some of their payments for operations executed are still outstanding, he said, it's easier to confirm what we did because we were able to recover dozens of towns from the BH guys from at least three states in the Northeast at the time. This is an open secret. He expressed regret and disappointment that some Nigerian military and intelligence officers who participated in the operation, not only were they retired, but prosecuted and convicted. He stated that the machineries find it difficult to work in a country where their operations strategy and thinking are exposed to the media and judicial processes. The secret agent confirmed that top government officials at federal and state levels are reaching out to them, but reiterated their resolve not to come back. In the wake of recent attack on Zabamari community, where at least 43 farmers were massacred by the BH insurgents in Koshobe rice field. The Borno state governor, Babagana Umara Zulu, called on the federal government to engage foreign military contractors in the fight against the BH insurgents. Zulu's call was later backed by the Northeast Governors Forum. Speaking at the council chamber, of the government house in Maiduguri during a condolence visit to Zulum, the leader of the delegation of the forum and Taraba state governor, Mr. Darius Ishaku, in the company of Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State, Governor Inua Yahaya of Gombe, and Governor Amadou Fintiri of Adamawa, told the Borno state governor that I will key into your request, which is saying that the federal government should hire some machineries to come and help us stop these problems. Because what we can't do or solve, we need to invite others who can solve and help us out. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the founder of Specialized Tasks Training, Equipment and Prosecution and Protection, I beg your pardon, Eben Balu revealed that President Muhammad Buhari stopped them from carrying out the fighting of the BH insurgents in Nigeria in 2015. In a post on social media, Balu said, 
Their proposal was antagonized and politicized by Buhari and his team, even before they assumed office. The initial three-phased campaign strategy, known as Operation Anvil, to degrade and destroy the BH in Borono State, was rejected by his advisors, Balu added. Balu further stated that the company was willing to stay back in the Northeast, but the president made it known that the company's presence would not be tolerated under his office. Well, guys, it is what it is. Gradually, we are beginning to get to find out or hear more stories as regards uh, the fight against insurgents and all that happened under various administrations, but uh, the administration of Good Luck Jonathan and uh, when Muhammad Buhari took over. Now we can see from these revelations why the fight against the insurgents seem not to have yielded the desired result and um, the insurgents rather have now intensified their efforts and they are now you know killing more than ever before this is sad and unfortunate it is really really uh, not the best for Nigeria as it is one would be forced to ask some questions what are these people benefiting or what is the benefit of these people from this particular uh, activities that they are carrying out what do they stand to gain is the question it is unfortunate that you know these guys are playing and toying with the lives of people and that is what one can call it because from the way and manner at which they are going about this issue they are toying with the lives of and the citizens you can see how these guys are already killing people in mass I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong but why would the administration of uh, Buhari terminate the appointment or the contract of uh, militants or sorry uh, machineries who are fighting or who were employed by the previous administration to deal with the issue of the BH insurgents now as it is they can they are not doing any better and it does not in any way seem Nigeria had moved forward one bit from the level that they were but rather things have gotten much more worse than ever before this is really really sad and unfortunate it is unacceptable take it anywhere it is unacceptable because with the rate at which the VH guys are operating in the country killing maiming people it is only fair that we tell ourselves the truth that nothing is you know working the strategy of the administration of President Mahmoud Buhari is not in any way you know achieving anything it is not better but what do we do how do we go about it now the missionaries are saying that they can no longer work for Nigeria and they will not come to work they can never help Nigeria again why because the government of Nigeria rejected their help when they uh, or rejected them when they were actually making headway in the fight against the insurgents. This is really, really sad and unfortunate if you ask me. I stand to be corrected, but it is what it is. Guys, what are your thoughts? How much more do we have to wait till this government, you know, uh, eventually deal with this situation? How much more do we have to wait? till this government gain results or fight these insurgents to a standstill well it is what it is i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong be that as it is we keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold all right guys please drop by at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.